How's it going guys? Welcome along to a video that I never intended to make. A little while ago I was out on the Spanish island of Fuerteventura and I did just one scuba dive. I took the GoPro with me in case we saw anything cool or anything huge and I ended up spending the whole dive just filming stuff. We saw so much. So this is the highlights from my one dive in Fuerteventura. Enjoy the video. My name's Adam and welcome to Nature Scope. First of all, a little bit about the dive itself. We were staying in Playa Giandia, which is the very south of Fuerteventura, one of the many Canary Islands. There was lots of sort of marine statues around, so they were clearly very proud of the oceans around here. And we'd be diving just here, the Moro Hable Lighthouse. This was a really iconic structure in the area. You could see it from absolutely everywhere. The dive itself was pretty simple. We'd kit up by that lighthouse. We'd have a walk along the beach until we got into the sea. We'd then get our fins on, go to about five meters depth and then follow the shelf along. Within about 30 seconds of dropping down from the surface, we saw this. This is an angel shark. They're incredibly rare in the rest of the world. The Canary Islands is their last real stronghold. There's a strong chance that within the next decade, they'll be extinct. So it was amazing to see these. As you can see, this one is buried underneath the sand. After leaving the angel shark, we then saw the first of what would end up being many different species of rays on this trip. This one was a rough tail stingray. This one seemed to be starting to bury itself in the sand. Rays will often bury themselves as a form of disguise and hiding themselves, and then they'll leap out of the sand when some prey or some food approaches. We then started to follow this wall. This was sort of a little shelf. There was plenty going on in it, lots of fish lots of different things, and then we saw this. This almost like stealth bomber looking thing coming in from below the surface. This is a butterfly ray. And I'll be honest, I didn't even know this existed until we saw it under the water. But I was absolutely amazed by sort of how easy it moved and how wide its wingspan was. It also really struck me how unusual its body shape was. It's almost like a rugby ball. A lot of rays, especially of that size, tend to be very circular. It's only really until they start getting really big, your sort of manta rays, where they start developing really clear and obvious wings, you know, manta rays and eagle rays are the two that spring to mind. But this one was the closest I've seen to them being a smaller ray. You can see here, it decides to head up along the wall and it was absolutely graceful in the way it moved. This thing was huge, probably around about a meter and a half wingspan. The butterfly ray then sat itself on top of the wall and started to bury itself. But just before it goes under the sand, we got a really close look at its markings. You can see it's got sort of light and dark sandy colours on the top of it. This is perfect camouflage. A lot of fish would probably never even see this thing come in as it's gliding across the sand. And you can see, looking around, that this is a very sandy environment. So this ray is very, very well adapted. There was something to see everywhere we looked. You can see here, I'm just looking around at all the different types of fish that are around me. You looked off to the blue and there was even more fish. There was stuff absolutely everywhere. We then began to notice lots of these things. These are black moray eels. And despite how scary their teeth are and how weird looking their bodies are, it looks like they've got googly eyes on the top of their head. This shot just shows quite how long they are. They're probably around a meter in length. They're pretty big things. We're about halfway through the dive now and it's time to turn around and start heading back. But we saw yet another species of stingray. I'm not 100% on the idea of this one, but I'm pretty sure it's a round fantail stingray. This one again was incredibly graceful, moving in the water. It's perfectly well adapted to the sandy environment. We then swam past the most chill garden eels I've ever seen. Usually these are really skittish and hide whenever you come near, but not these ones. We then saw these. These are trumpet fish. They're probably around about a meter long and they're incredibly weird. They're almost sort of an in-between of a fish and an eel. They do sort of both jobs quite well. They're really odd to watch. There was plenty of these sort of larger group of fish around. They weren't particularly happy with us getting close, but they were around all the time. Probably around sort of half a meter long, so quite chunky fish. It was just great to have these larger fish swimming around you. What was that? You wanted another species of ray? 
Okay then. Well, this one probably isn't as impressive as the other one. This one was just a common stingray, but it was the fourth different species of ray we'd see on this dive. Amazing. I'd be really impressed if you can see what these guys are looking at in this clip, so I'll zoom in again. But they're looking at a single-celled organism. You can see it a bit better here. It's almost like a really long jellyfish, but this is actually one organism that just keeps expanding. Ending the dive, I spotted this little flatfish. This is a wide-eyed flounder, and you can see when I get a bit closer to it that there is a pretty significant gap between its eyes. But this was an absolutely incredible dive. I couldn't believe how much we saw in such a short period of time. So I wanted to talk a little bit about why that was probably the best scuba dive I've ever done. If any of you have ever been to the Canary Islands diving before and you've dived elsewhere, you'll realise that it's probably not the best. There's definitely stuff to see there, the water's a lot warmer than we get here in the UK, but there's not masses amounts to see. There's, there's little bits, you know, but not much. On this dive though, we saw absolutely everything the Canary Islands had to offer. And what made it even better was we only did the one dive whilst we were out there. If we'd have done sort of seven or eight, then maybe this dive would have blended into the others and wouldn't have been amazing. Was the stuff we saw and was the environment better than places like Egypt? Of course it wasn't, but the sort of context surrounding the trip and the fact we only did one dive and saw that much in just one sort of 40 minute dive was absolutely incredible. So being able to dive with all those different species of rays, the angel shark, which may well be extinct in the next 10 years, was just amazing and I really, really enjoyed it. It was probably the best scuba dive I've ever done. I remember coming out of the dive and just feeling so happy. You know, it's really good when you get your money's worth for a dive like that, and especially in the place that's not really known for its scuba diving. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave us a like. It really, really helps us out. Comment down below where in the world have you been scuba diving and what's the coolest thing you saw, and subscribe to Nature Scope to not miss any more future videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.